Dog who lost her owner in a fire finds the perfect new family with EMS workers. Dogs might seem like they don't necessarily understand the intricacies of the world around them, but often they display a behavior that indicates otherwise. An Australian cattle dog named Hope was a perfect example of this. When elite EMS paramedic Courtney Ivan spotted the pup running around behind a house in Pennsylvania, firefighters gave her a strict warning. Don't go near her, they warned. She's mean and doesn't like people. Courtney and the firefighters had been responding to a fire that resulted in a man's death. They had no idea that the man owned a dog, Hope, nor did the man's family. Despite the firefighter's warning, the dog didn't seem mean at all. In fact, she happily walked right up to Courtney and one of her co-workers. So what could have caused such a misunderstanding? She was very friendly, said Courtney. She let us pet her, touch her, and hug her. She followed us around the whole time we were there. The family of the deceased man didn't know what to do with her. I think just out of pure shock, they said, well, we're going to euthanize her today then, said Courtney. Courtney was determined to prevent that outcome. I said, there's no way they're going to put this dog down. So it was a relief when the family said that she could take Hope back to the EMS station. Fortunately, Elite EMS's station was always open, and with nearly 30 members on its crew, it helped to have a dog keeping them company. In fact, they already had a dog named Humphrey, who had been adopted from the local shelter. So Hope was a welcome addition and playmate. Initially, they were only going to foster Hope since they hadn't planned on getting another dog for the station. All it took was meeting her, though, for them to want to keep her forever. She was truly something special, and everyone knew it. The first night, the crew was lying on the floor with her, trying to build trust, said Courtney. I came back after my 24-hour shift at another station, and there were matching dog beds for her and Humphrey, and toys and treats. They were amazing with her. Hope and Humphrey became fast friends. They took to each other immediately, said Courtney. It's always worrisome when first introducing two new dogs to each other, but everyone's fears quickly dissolved when they saw them meet. But things weren't entirely rosy for Hope. The staff realized that her shoulder was dislocated. She also had several fractures in her elbow and a torn ligament in her shoulder, so she couldn't properly move her legs. The vet had reason to believe that she'd been abused at some point in her life. The medical staff gave Hope medication to help deal with the pain, but the issues with her leg kept getting worse. Thus, they had to make the difficult decision to amputate. The way the vets explained it, her shoulder was free-floating in there, said Courtney. It ended up being a ball and chain. But taking her leg was a huge decision for us to make. Thankfully, the surgery was a success. Courtney said Hope was transitioning smoothly. She lies still on the table in the garage all the time, or on chairs in the garage, where the ambulances are, she said. When they say that dogs are born with three legs and a spare, absolutely. Humphrey seemed thrilled too. When Hope had surgery, she was gone for two days, said Courtney. In some respects, I think he liked the extra attention, but he kept going and checking her bed. When she came back to the station, he was just ecstatic to see her. Humphrey and Hope still love to play with each other, and they even team up against the staff. We have a bedroom for our crew for overnight, said Courtney. The dogs totally kick the crew out of the bedroom. It's like the dog room. They rule the station. In spite of what she's been through, Hope absolutely adores humans. She lies right on top of you sometimes, said Courtney. She's next to somebody all the time. Hope is amazing. I could go on about her all day long, every day. She's awesome. Hope loves her new family, and it's great that after everything that happened to her, she's surrounded by such caring people and another pooch. The fact that she's adjusted so well to losing a leg just further proves how special she is.